Many reactions in chemistry don't happen in one step. We like to think of reactions as just being particles hitting each other and bang, new products get formed. In reality, however, there are sometimes several steps that have to occur in a correct sequence in order for a set of reactants to turn into new products. As these steps happen very fast and on a tiny scale, it's nearly impossible for us to know exactly how such reactions occur. All we can do is predict how the reactions occur and model them using things called mechanisms, showing each step in terms of bonds being broken and formed. One major source of information for predicting mechanisms comes from reaction rate data, and more specifically, the rate equation for a given reaction. Rate equations are based on experimental data, meaning they aren't based on predictions or theory. So if we study the rate equation for a reaction carefully, we can often find information and clues about the steps occurring in the reaction. The biggest clue we can obtain from such data is information about the slowest step that happens in a reaction. We call this the rate determining step. The reason the slowest step occurring in a reaction is important is that it is the slowest step that determines the overall rate of a reaction. This is a bit like a production line in a factory. Imagine you're in a small factory packing boxes of an item. If the items take longer to get to you on a conveyor belt than the length of time it takes you to pack them, then how quickly boxes get filled isn't really based on you, it's based on how quickly the items get to you. There are technically two steps going on here, the items moving to you on the conveyor belt and then you packing them. However, the overall rate of packing is determined here by the speed at which the products get to you, rather than by the speed you can pack them. As you are packing them faster than they can travel to you, meaning the travelling of the item on the conveyor is the slowest step in the whole process and determines the overall rate at which the items can be packaged. Just like in a multi-step reaction, it is the slowest step or stage occurring that will determine the reaction rate.